Spice up your English with delicious vocabulary and fun idioms as Alfredo tackles a mystery with a sprinkle of courage and a dash of detective work. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. The sizzle of garlic and the sweet scent of basil that was Alfredo's alarm clock. He wasn't your average teenager. He was an apprentice chef learning the magic of Italian cooking at Nana Rosa's, a beloved family restaurant. Every morning started the same way, sizzling pans, Nana Rosa's, booming voice barking orders, like a drill sergeant, and the most delicious smells ever. Today though, something fell off. As Alfredo dusted flour onto the counter, a flyer blew through the window, landing at his feet. It advertised, the grand opening of Il Pomodoro Felice, a new Italian restaurant right across the street. Curiosity bubbling, Alfredo unfolded the flyer. His jaw hit the floor. Their menu listed dishes, suspiciously similar to Nana Rosa's famous creations. Her melt-in-your-mouth lasagna and the legendary spaghetti carbonara a family recipe passed down for generations. This couldn't be a coincidence. Anger burned in Alfredo's stomach. He wouldn't let someone steal their secret weapon and exploit their family legacy. Nana Rosa, a tiny woman with a fiery spirit, was the heart and soul of the restaurant. Protecting their recipes was as important as guarding a family fortune. That night, Alfredo hatched a plan. He recruited his best friend, Sofia, a tech whiz, with a nose for sniffing out information online. Together, they became a delicious detective duo. Disguised with sunglasses and baseball caps, they ventured into Il Pomodoro Felice on a secret tasting mission. The place was flashy, all red tablecloths and dimmed lights, a total opposite of Nana Rosa's warm, homey feel. The food arrived, and with each bite, Alfredo's suspicions grew. The lasagna lacked Nana Rosa's secret touch, a sprinkle of rosemary. That made it sing. The carbonara was a sad imitation, heavy on cream, and missing the magic Nana Rosa created with years of experience. But there was a clue. Tucked between the menu pages, Alfredo spotted a tiny symbol, a winking tomato. Sofia, a master internet sleuth, dove headfirst into Italian food blogs and forums. Finally, she cracked the case. The winking tomato was the signature symbol of a notorious chef, Marco the Magpie Rossi, famous for stealing recipes and calling them his own. Now they had ammo. But Alfredo couldn't expose Marco directly, not without proof. He could, however, spill the beans to the food critics, the ones with the power to make or break a restaurant. Alfredo anonymously emailed the city's most respected critic outlining Marco's history and the suspicious similarities between the menus. A week later, a scathing review appeared in the local paper. Il Pomodoro Felice, the critic wrote, was a shameless copycat, offering a cheap imitation of true Italian cuisine. The restaurant's reputation went up in flames faster than a burnt pizza. Customers swarmed back to Nana Rosa's, craving the real taste of Italy. News of Alfredo's bravery spread like wildfire. Nana Rosa, beaming with pride, declared him a true figlio di Nana Rosa, a son of Nana Rosa. Alfredo, his heart full, understood that day. Protecting their recipes wasn't just about the food itself. It was about keeping alive the love, traditions, and special touch that made Nana Rosa's cooking so magical. Alfredo realized he hadn't just saved the restaurant, he'd learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes, the most delicious victories come with a dash of courage and a sprinkle of detective work. 
Congratulations on completing the case of the copycat chef. Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, sizzle, a sound made by something frying or cooking with heat. Number two, scent, a distinctive smell, especially one that is pleasant. Number three, apprentice, a person who is learning a trade from a skilled employer, having agreed to work for a fixed period. Number four, booming voice barking orders, speaking very loudly and authoritatively, giving commands. Number five, drill sergeant, a non-commissioned officer in the military responsible for training recruits. Number six, dusted, to lightly sprinkle or cover with a powder. Number seven, blew through, moved quickly and forcefully. Number eight, grand opening, a celebratory event marking the opening of a new business or location. Number nine, curiosity bubbling, feeling of growing curiosity or interest. Number ten, jaw hit the floor, expression used to show extreme shock or surprise. Number eleven, suspiciously, in a manner that arouses suspicion. Number twelve, melt in your mouth. Describes food that is so tender and soft that it almost dissolves in one's mouth. Number 13. Passed down. Transferred from one generation to another. Number 14. Anger burned. Felt intense anger. Number 15. Secret weapon. A resource or strategy kept hidden until needed. Number 16. Exploit. Make full use of and derive benefit from a resource. Number 17. Fiery spirit. Showing a passionate, spirited nature. Number 18, heart and soul, the essential or most vital part of something. Number 19, guarding, keep watch over in order to protect or control. Number 20, hatched, to devise or develop a plan. Number 21, recruited, enlist someone to join a group or participate. Number 22, whiz, a person who is extremely skilled at something. Number 23, knows for sniffing out, a natural ability for discovering or detecting something. Number 24, disguised, give oneself a different appearance in order to conceal one's identity. Number 25, ventured into, to go into a potentially dangerous or unknown situation. Number 26, secret tasting mission, a covert operation to sample and evaluate food discreetly. Number 27, flashy, bright and colorful in a way that is intended to attract attention. Number 28, total opposite, completely different from something else. Number 29, homey, comfortable and cozy, resembling a home. Number 30, sprinkle, to scatter small particles or droplets over an object or surface. Number 31, sad imitation, a poor or disappointing copy of something. Number 32, heavy on, containing too much of one particular ingredient or characteristic. Number 33, tucked between, placed or hidden in between two objects. Number 34, dove head first, to begin something enthusiastically and without hesitation. Number 35, crack the case, solved a difficult problem or mystery. Number 36, signature symbol, a distinctive sign or design used to represent a person, group, or brand. Number 37, calling them his own, claiming someone else's work as one's own. Number 38, ammo, information or resources that can be used to support arguments or strategies. Number 39, expose, to reveal something hidden, especially something discreditable. Number 40, spill the beans, to reveal secret information unintentionally or indiscreetly. Number 41, power to make or break, the ability to cause something to be a success or a failure. Number 42, anonymously emailed, send an email without revealing one's identity. Number 43, scathing review, a review that is harshly critical. Number 44, shameless copycat, an individual or entity that blatantly imitates or copies others without any sense of shame. Number 45, cheap imitation, an inferior reproduction or fake version that lacks quality. Number 46, went up in flames, to be destroyed, particularly by fire, or fail spectacularly. Number 47, swarmed back, returned in large numbers quickly and all at once. Number 48, Craving, a powerful desire for something. Number 49, spread like wildfire, spread quickly and widely, especially used for information, rumors, or fires. Number 50, beaming with pride, showing a great deal of pride and satisfaction. Number 51, 
Dash of courage, a small but significant amount of bravery. Number 52, sprinkle of detective work, a small amount of investigative activity. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.